If you are facing these types of shading artifacts in polygon modeling or low poly modeling, then it's a common thing. There are different ways to solve these artifacts. I know three of them, which I am going to share in this video. Let's learn reasons behind shading artifacts. First, complex design. Second, vertex normal. Third, lack of geometry and there is not enough geometry for Blender to work on it. Let's see different ways to solve this. First way, use modifier. You can solve simple shading artifacts with one modifier. And that's a triangulate modifier. Just you need to add a triangulate modifier. And it will create more geometry for your model. It's going to resolve shading artifacts which occurs due to lack of geometry. Here you can see, without a triangulate modifier and with triangulate modifier. Second way is auto smooth. In the flat shading, vertex interpolation looks like this. You can see perpendicular normals. These arrows are in the 90 degrees. These arrows indicates vertex normal. In smooth shading, vertex interpolation looks like this. Here you are not going to get perpendicular normals. You can see these arrows, they are in different angles. And this vertex interpolation causes shading artifacts. To resolve these artifacts, you can turn on the auto smooth. Go to the object data properties, normal and then auto smooth. With this slider, you can adjust the auto smooth angle. It's default value at 30. If I decrease it, then I will be able to resolve shading artifacts. Third way is the manual way. When your design is complex and you are not able to resolve shading artifacts with the triangulate modifier and auto smooth option, then you need to use the manual way. Manually, you need to create edges at required places to resolve shading artifacts. Like this. Here I am getting artifacts and here I need to create enough supportive geometry around it for Blender to work well. By adding some geometry, I am able to resolve shading artifacts. You can use these three ways to remove shading artifacts in your Blender modeling process. Sometimes we get such artifacts because of wrong modeling steps also. You should know how to use right modeling step at right time. For that you can watch this video. And if you want to learn more about topology, then you can watch this complete topology playlist. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.